Hey guys, welcome to my next video. Sorry it's been a while, I've had a lot on. Um, in this video we're just going to be looking at making a custom brush, a very basic brush, uh, for beginners if you will, um, for digitally painting hair. Now please bear in mind there are a lot of different techniques. Um, this is just one and this is probably the easiest, the most basic uh, that you will find. And you can just download others, other people's brushes if you would like. Um, or I'm going to show you how to make one, a really simple one. So first things first, in Photoshop, we're just going to open a new document and I'm going to make it 500 by 500 pixels. Uh, I've, I've got that saved as a preset. That's just what I use for brushes. So go ahead and open that. Now with the basic round brush, I'm not sure if that's what you actually call it, but that's all. that's the brush we're going to be using opacity on a hundred percent should be on something like that first thing to do I like to just make a new layer right now yours doesn't have to look exactly like this but at least you know you can you can pause the screen if you do want it similar so first things first I'm gonna have one dot up here on hundred percent I'm gonna turn it down to about eight uh, Let's go for about 70% opacity and put in some smaller dots here, let's have one here and let's go for an even smaller one on a lower opacity. Let's see, there you go, now <laughs> you can't get much more basic than that but um, you know feel free, feel free to um, try different things, put different dots, different opacities, different sizes, put loads, try less, see what works. And from here you're going to go edit, define brush preset. So here it is, um, I'll leave it at that for now, sample brush 9. I'm going to bring this into this document here which is a bigger page. This is what we've got at the moment and that's with the opacity on, I'll turn that back up to 100%, I always forget that. So this is what we're left with at the moment cool brush, maybe not quite hair like yet. Um, so you need to look for this icon, this is your brush settings, um, you can get this along here, I think it's under window, but you should have it down the side already. And first thing we're going to go to brush tip settings and we're going to turn the spacing down which you will be able to see here what that actually affects, the bigger spacing, the bigger dots. Uh, go ahead and turn it anywhere sort of below 4% should be fine and that's what we're left with now a bit closer um, let's see I don't think we need to change anything else in here you can change the size up here if you would like to but you can do that later on anyway so first things first shape dynamics now yours might look a bit different depending on what you've had set previously uh, mine's already set up but I'm just going to run through this uh, size jitter we're going to have on 0% and we're going to have it controlled by pen pressure with a minimum diameter. I've got it set to 27%. You don't have to necessarily have that, just you know, something similar. This is just something to start with. Please do play around with these settings. And for me, that is all I had to change, but angle jitter is on 0%, the control is off. Roundness jitter, 0%, control off. Next thing is this transfer button here. Now, this is um, Photoshop CS6. I think in the older versions, it's called something else, so be aware of that. I forget what it is. I think it's another Dynamics one, but I could be wrong. Right, and with the Transfer button selected, we are going to have Opacity Jitter on 0%, controlled by Pen Pressure, Minimum, 0%, Flow Jitter, 0%, Control, Pen, uh, pen Pressure, Minimum, 0%, and you should have something like this. That's pressing down lightly. The harder you press, it should get darker and potentially a little bit bigger as well. Um, this button here will save the brush, so maybe change the name now. Let's call it Hairbrush. Uh, the size at the moment is 348. That's actually pretty damn big. I could have actually made that smaller before saving it, but it's not important. So that's what you're left with. Um, that is as simple as it needs to be. 
Uh, again, play around with the settings, make your own. Uh, this is just starting. Just this is just guidelines, should I say? Um, but I'll give you a quick overview of how I would use it. Look, there's the brush. Yep. So this is just a starting point. Again, there are lots of different ways, uh, especially advanced ways of doing hair. But I'm just going to show you a really basic way. Just gives you something to start with if you are new to digital painting or you struggle with hair. So I'm going to start with a brush that's going to be fairly soft around the edges. In fact, first things first, I'm going to pick some colours just so they've got something to work with. Uh, a palette, if you like. You could get this from... Well, you could use someone else's painting or a photo and colour pick from it just to get the... Uh, to get some colours to get started with, that's completely up to you, or you can just do what I'm doing here and just pick some randomly like this. You're probably better colour picking from someone else's work to get started with just so you get used to colours. Um, as I say, this is just me doing a really quick demonstration, so it's not going to be looking fantastic anyway. People spend hours and hours doing hair, um, but we're not going to do that because <laughs> this could be a pretty boring video if we did. Right, so first things first, I would just block in roughly where you want your hair to be. I like to have this button on up here, which is to do with the opacity. The softer you press, the softer it is. Right. I apologise if I don't talk too much of this, as I am not good at multitasking. Right, so start off with your hair blocked in, roughly, let's say this is the side of someone's head. <laughs> Not a very detailed hair so far, but um, it'll do for what we need. So, first things first, once you've got that blocked in, you're going to switch to your new brush, which should be at the end, the last one in here. And I'm going to pick this colour. All I've done for colours is pick uh, different tones, different um, shades of brown for now. I, I leave this button uh, turned on even when I'm using this hairbrush. I'm going to make the hairbrush a bit smaller though. And it really is as simple as just pressing down gently and just... There you go. Uh, I've used a soft brush before to get the edges. It's um, maybe not quite what you would want. Um, some people prefer it, some people don't, but... That's, that's not really the important bit of this video, but I'll let you guys choose that yourself, decide what to do with it. Uh, I stick to, I've used this as my base colour, this one here to go over. And the next thing I would do is pick a slightly darker one after just blocking in your main bits. I'm going to turn this down even more because it is really dark. And we're just going to think about lighting here. I'm going to have lighting coming down to this bit. Sorry, that looked rude. And um, so that's going to be the lightest area there, and these corner bits are going to be the furthest away, so they're going to be darkest. So pressing really gently, I'm just going to do short strokes like this. You might want to play around with the size of your brush. better to go a little bit softer as opposed to just starting really hard. I mean that is actually I could have even gone softer than that. So you've got your darker areas in. I'm gonna go to a slightly lighter one now. Now I'm only putting a little bit of that on. Maybe a little bit more actually. Again, as I say, uh, I'd like to stress there are loads of ways. There's not one technique to do hair. This is just this is just something really basic, just to get you know you guys started in case you you have no idea what to do with hair. And this is going to be our highlight, our brightest colour. Sorry, I, sh I should really be doing this a little bit neater. I apologise. Uh, the lower the opacity, the the more it should sort of blend with the other colours. Uh, once you get to a more advanced level, there's loads you could do with hair. You could 
Uh, one good thing is to actually switch to the smudge tool and sort of blend the colours into each other more. Um, a lot of people, including me, once you've got it to this sort of stage, I still sort of class that as blocked in and I'll pick um, one of the basic brushes that isn't like four strands like this, it's just one, uh, one circle, make it really thin and go in and put individual hairs in, but you don't want to do that all over because it will take forever, so we're not worrying about that today. Uh, the smaller you go, the, um, the more detailed the hair will look. You might want to zoom in, like so. I might have actually, you can overdo it, I think, to be honest, I've overdone it a little bit here. I'm going to pick a white, although you don't usually go quite as white as that, but because I've got the opacity on quite high, to be honest, that didn't really need to be on. I'm just going to switch to a soft brush now. And I'm just literally going to highlight the whole area a little bit. And again, another tool for doing that is the uh, colour dodge tool. Uh, that can come in quite handy and for the dark areas using the burn tool. Um, so yeah, I'm going to leave it at that because I don't want to get too in-depth and spend hours boring you guys doing that. But you can see that is a really basic way to do hair if you imagine that sort of you know three quarter view of someone's head that's the hair um, it's it's really good this brush I think it's quite good for doing straight hair and shiny hit this technique for like shiny silky hair let's say um, you might want to neaten it off a bit around the edges that's up to you I won't spend too much time although I should really be spending a little bit more time doing it just because it's coming out a little bit messy um, but hopefully it's giving you guys enough of an idea to get started. There are a lot more techniques I could go into, but I think I'll save them for another video. And yeah, I think that's pretty much everything I wanted to cover. Um, please let me know if there's something I haven't explained properly or if you need more help or any, you know, if you've got ways you want to suggest to improve this, uh, please do write a comment. And as always, please do like and share the video and subscribe. I'm trying to get my um, my Facebook page started at the moment. I've only got a few likes, but if you would uh, drop me a like on Facebook, I would appreciate that a lot. Uh, thanks a lot, guys.